Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting edition of Soda Sipping Sunday. Uh, as you may or may not be able to tell from this video, I, uh, I'm all sweaty and gross and I just came in from a long run and the sun's shining outside. It's a very nice day outside. It's very warm, I'm very thirsty, and you know what, last week's episode, it kind of got off the rails with all this like shit with Jigsaw and that, so I don't want to complicate things, I just want things to be simple, I just want to have a soda, I don't want to deal with any more horror movie monsters or anything like that. I hope that's not asking too much, but uh, that, that's what I'm hoping for for this week's episode. Uh, oh god, who, who is that? There's somebody over here in my apartment, this is, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, as you just saw, the possessed little girl from the Exorcist movies, uh, for some reason is in my apartment and wants me to drink this bottle of squirt soda. Um, I guess the connection, I'm just speculating here, might be squirt soda the way she squirted the vomit out of her mouth in the movie, uh, which is disgusting, I mean, but I guess it's less disgusting than drinking a bottle of grass soda. Um, so yeah, squirt soda, this sounds pretty good. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, this squirt soda here, uh, squirt soda is a grapefruit flavored soda. Uh, it's comparable to Fresca, uh, which many of you have probably had, it's still pretty commonly available, uh, or perhaps Wink. Um, now, Wink, I haven't been able to get my hands on recently because I really wanted to do a Squirt versus Wink video. Uh, so if anyone happens to have seen Wink somewhere in the past few months or something, uh, please let me know where because I'd be interested in trying it as a comparison sake. I really love Fresca. Um, Fresca has no sugar. This one has a bunch of sugar in it. And because this bottle, um, you might notice the bottle's pretty cool, by the way. It's all grooved and shit. Um, this bottle is actually imported from Mexico. Um, so not only does it have sugar in it, it's going to have the cane sugar, uh, which is going to make it taste a lot better than the, the fake bullshit sugar that they put in a lot of uh, sodas in North America. Um, I noticed myself when I went to Mexico that I really enjoyed the Coke down there, and I don't mean the kind that goes up your nose, I mean actually the Coca-Cola, because it was with the, the cane sugar, so it was a lot better. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to try this squirt soda at the uh, request of that hideous, possessed little girl. Um, I think it's probably going to be pretty refreshing, but uh, it's nice to have something that I'm not dreading drinking for once, so here, here we go. Oh my god, that is freaking delicious. This might be one of my favorite ones that I've had on the show. Um, like I said, it is comparable to Fresca. It's, uh, it's a whole lot sweeter though, and it tastes less artificial, I would say, um, because it has the cane sugar, and I think that's what makes it sweeter. But really quite good, quite refreshing. Nice cold beverage after a long uh, run outside is nice, uh, even if it's given to you by a um, demon from hell. Um, so yeah, this squirt soda, I'm going to have another sip here to confirm my thoughts. I love it. This is fantastic. I would buy a whole fucking case of this stuff. Um, probably the best one I've had on the show yet. Um, you may have noticed that I didn't have any soda crackers this week. I actually ran out, I have to go grocery shopping today, so luckily I was already very thirsty. But uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, tune in next week, there'll be another episode, and hopefully I'll be undisturbed by villains, monsters, and other such problems in my apartment. Usually it's just spiders and those disgusting little centipede things that I have to deal with. But uh, anyhow, have a great Sunday, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next Sunday.